watch this video and then we'll talk we back with the wanted child support evaders everybody was talking about fernando but y'all ain't met curtis <laughs> y'all ain't met curtis damn curtis Woo. all right we go scroll down and let's see this is the wall of shame I don't feel like he's supposed to be on this list, but let's see. Damn. <laughs> this man owes $6,000. Oh, man. Them kids could really be living it up. Unfortunately, some people don't pay their child support. Sorry to them kids. Sorry to them kids. Who else we got? Let's see. This is the wall of shame right here. See the mamas is on here. Like I said, Sandra down bad. She, I don't know if she gonna ever get out of that hole. That's a deep hole, Sandra. You've been digging that hole since 2019. My God, Sandra. Dang, girl. Let's see who else we got. Who else we got? Let's see. Oh. <laughs> Wow, this is intense. I'm only a little nosy, but y'all asking for a part two, and this is making me a lot of nosy. Little backstory on that, right? I did look for a part one. I don't think there's a part one posted, but um, she says in a later video that that, and you can kind of see it in the very beginning at the very top, but that is very specific. The page that she's on is very specific to Arizona, which is her home state. Now, I personally, actually, before I dive into that, hi, my name is Shayna. For those of you who are new here, I'm a journalist that talks a lot about food politics, but that's, that's what I do for my daytime thing. <laughs> um, outside of that, I am on here talking about decentering men, child free living, the intersections of the two, and the social implications of all things involved. So, if that sounds interesting, please like, share, subscribe, all that great stuff. Um, and I always appreciate a super thanks if you feel so inclined. No pressure, but always appreciate it. Now, as I was saying, I think that if you date men, clearly there's like a singular lady on there, but that lady was scrolling, OP was scrolling, and it's just men's on men's on men's, right? <laughs> um, I just strongly recommend that wherever you are, whatever region you're in, whatever state you're in, whatever country you're in, you look up that registry for whoever you're dating. Why? Because as I said in a previous video, tagged right up here go deeper into this in this video so if you want to watch that afterwards please do but as i said up here there are a lot of single mothers because there are a lot of unclaimed fathers there's a lot of men out here saying oh i don't have kids oh you know i would love to start a family i would but meanwhile there's so many single throughout history everybody's like oh everybody's got kids everybody's got i wonder why and don't just look him up here to see if he's like missing out on child support also see if he's got a criminal record all those things men are unwell and these as you could see through just like the couple of people that's hundreds of thousands of dollars hundreds of that they are running from the law running from their kids running from the law and their kids ah and you you expect what do you expect from them you can't expect anything good he a runner, she a track star. And I bring this up. Now listen, I'm an Aquarius rising, so it takes me a long time to create some kind of emotional attachment to somebody. I gotta really know who you are, and for me, friendship comes first, right? Now, astrologically speaking, it can vary from person to person. Listen, Pisces, ladies, the water signs, I feel bad for you, because y'all lead feelings first, but that's a thing for a completely different video. I'm talking about it is important to take your time when you... It is important to take your time, point one. Two, it is important to know when you are being rushed and when you are being water bombed. Now, listen, I'm self-obsessed. I love me. I understand why somebody would fall head over heels for me immediately. I get it. Um, at the same time, I'm an Aquarius rising and I'm wildly neurodivergent. So I'm gonna need it to make sense. Your worship is appreciated. Leave your money and your gifts at my altar, but also I'm gonna need a five page essay as to what all of these gifts mean and why I should care. And I think that's the least that you can do. And if you don't wanna do that, then that's fine. Now, have I actually gotten, I wouldn't say a five page, 
but have I gotten like a single page from a man being like not necessarily like oh this is why I'm giving you money but just like oh this is why you should date me this is why I chose this for our upcoming date this is why I yes why because I asked for it and it's very much the least that I could do but also it is important to whatever that means for you for me it could mean like hey I want you to write a couple essays for me I'm also a journalist words are important to me actions are more important but like words are actually my life um but also words from a man mm, take them or leave them right actions come first when it comes to them but this is why it's important for whatever it means to you take your time getting to know somebody they could be running from the law <laughs> If you feel like you are being rushed into a relationship, if you are being rushed into a, a, a whatever, right? A, a, not a, you can't be rushed into a situationship. It's just chaos. Um, but if you're being rushed into a relationship, into exclusivity, into having a kid, into whatever, just really ask yourself why. Why am I being rushed? What are you running from? Because he a runner, he a track star energizer bunny kind of energy they they don't stop running once they start they have all the energy to sprint away from their obligations but they don't know what they're running towards it, it's it's unfortunate and in a more like emotion like less cerebral less practical but like more emotional kind of sense it's also really important to get to know who you who you are dating who you are with like the kind of partner that they are before you like tie and not commit to anything especially if it's a man. What if a man don't have a vision? If he don't have a plan, if he's figuring, like it's one thing to like, oh, well, you know, I'm working on this and the other and there's some details that need to be worked out. Okay, cool, great, lovely. If he don't got the basics in order, who are you and what do you want? What drives you in this world? If he don't have that kind of base level, don't expect anything to make sense afterwards. But this all comes with taking your time to vet who, like the qualities that you're looking for. We see this happen all the time in the animal kingdom. Now their process, the animal's process, is a little bit quicker because they know exactly the qualities that they are looking for. Am I looking for the strongest? Am I looking for the most artistic? How, am I, I'm looking at the qualities of the home that you have made for us. Do I like the home? Yes, no. They know pretty immediately. They'll fly away. They'll swim away. They'll walk away or they'll fight you. Sometimes it's like, hey, I think that you did that really cool dance and it shows me that you have certain kinds of qualities that are important for our species. I love that. I will mate with you and then I will eat you. Spiders. But for us, we don't have that. We don't have that. And um, our, our, our men commit crimes. Wild, un, un, uncomfortable, unsavory, unhinged crimes that don't exist necessarily in the animal kingdom, except for dolphins and, and whales. Those, the, like specifically killer whales. They, they, the sociopaths. But getting back to the root of the matter, because I'm gonna need to go real soon. Um, check and see, especially if you don't want kids especially for a child-free person. Just just check your registry <laughs> and it, as you're dating and all of that, just, just to see, just to see what comes up because information, yeah, it can hurt a little bit, but information is power. You can make better life decisions if you are fully informed. So that is all for now. Once again, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that great stuff. And I'm gonna talk to you guys later. All right, bye.